Hello, welcome to Microsoft Dynamics 365 Financial Operation Tutorial Series. In this series, we are talking about tables and specifically in this video, we will talk about table methods. So first, we will know about what is table method and why table methods are used. Examples of table methods. So without wasting time, let's start. So first we will know about what is table methods. So in this screenshot you can see that there is an employee table and in the node section you can see there is a node called methods. You already know about that tables are mainly two types. First one is standard table and second one is custom table. So standard tables are those tables which is already present in the standard application and custom tables are those have those tables which is created by particular user or to extend the facilities and functionalities from the standard application we need to create the custom table so in the in both case in standard table and in the custom table you will be able to see this particular node which is methods inside this method node you can create your own method also you can override the standard methods okay and these methods are actually called table methods now we'll see the points one by one tables are main elements so one of the main elements of financial operation app development and many standard tables are already available in the application okay you already know for example cast group cast table these are some example of standard tables and you can also create the new custom tables so here in this example you can see this is a custom table and this is present in the ansari training for this training purpose i have created this model and it is present in the bar layer so this is a custom table in the second point you can see that each table has methods okay so for example employee table has a method modified field so this particular field is a standard field method modified field method which is overridden each table has method which can be classified as a standard methods or custom methods so this particular modified field this is a standard method this is overridden from the common base class if there will be any custom table and if there will be a custom method then super should not be called but in case of a standard table it must have a super call and this super call will call the base class methods and this is this call to run the framework logic or the to call the standard code or standard framework business logic code and this requirement also apply to the custom tables because they are derived from the same base type but in the method section if in the custom table you are also overriding if you are overriding the base class method then in that case that particular method should contain should contain super method otherwise if you are not overriding any standard method then there should not be any super call and i'll show you each and every point how you can how this call actually happens and why it is important if you already have the concept of inheritance in x plus plus programming language then it will be easier for you to understand so to understand this particular override concept you can see our inheritance video then it will be easier for you to understand this concept and in this point you can see that you can extend the existing table method and include the code by using the chain of command so if you want to write additional code and if you extend the table methods for functionality improvement and if you want to introduce new features then you can use the chain of command so 
if you don't know about the chain of command you can see our chain of command video it will be helpful for you helpful for you to understand how table method can extend the existing table methods also additionally you can create table delegates to include code in an existing method and this delegate should be subscribed to add functionality to an existing table method so you can also see our delegate how this delegate uh, will work and how you can take the advantages of delegates so i hope you understood the concept that what is table method now we'll see why this table methods now you'll understand why table method is important so before that if you want to know how we can override a particular method if you will right click on the method then there will be option for override okay and you will be able to see various methods now we will discuss about why table methods the first point is saying that in microsoft dynamics 365 financial operation table methods are used to perform a specific operation on table so it will perform a specific operation on table and they are defined within the table itself and can be called from any other object within the application okay next point is saying that table method can be used to perform a specific task like data validation calculations database operation they are often used to combination with the form methods and the class method to provide the functionality to user interface and business logic of the application so now i'll show you the example uh, of table methods so i already told that table methods are available for standard uh, standard table so here you can see example uh, for for the cast group and for cast table for both table you can see the standard methods also there are many standard methods are available you can uh, see from those table also so if we we'll open the cast group table from the application explorer you can you can see the here you can search from the application explorer and you can uh, select the cast table and you can open it and if you we'll expand the method section you can you will be able to see these methods are also these methods are available so this is, these are nothing but uh, table methods of the cast group also if you we'll open the cast table and if you we'll expand the table so you will be able to see these methods are available so if we you can see that there is a scroll bar you can uh, click here to see all the methods which are uh, which is available for the cast table so this table these two table is actually standard table so if you want to see the table which is a custom table so you can see here is there is a custom table called employee table so for employee table you can write the custom or user defined methods okay user defined custom method for example find method is a user defined or custom methods also exist methods also custom methods so here in this uh, screenshot you can see that there is a table so you can right click and you can open this particular employee table which is a custom table so you if you right click on the uh, right click on the method section you can override all these methods so these methods are actually the standard methods so example of standard methods so if someone will uh, ask you give me some ex give me some example of standard methods the standard table methods so you can take the name of all these methods for example init value insert help field get extension equal to delete delete do update so all these methods uh, you can see here all these methods are actually standard methods so you can override also in this screenshot you can see also insert method merge method 
also update write validate write validate field validate lead and all these methods are standard methods and you can override it so other than these methods you can also create new methods okay if you click particular method on particular method you will be able to see the code behind it so how can you see the code so if you click on this validate write or validate field or validate delete directly you will go to the code also in other way you can see the code also how if you right click on the employee table you will be able to see that one option is there view code so by clicking on that you can see also the code behind this employee table so here you can see in this particular slide you can see in this screenshot if you right click you'll be able to see the view code but directly you can click on the f7 button so in case of employee table so if you click on the view code you will be directly go to this particular code this type of code and if you will not override any method initially this particular code inside this two bracket there will be no code but if you will click on the override method you will be able to see some code or that particular method inside this particular class so for employee table each for each and every table there is a class with same name the name of the table and the class will be same and you will be able to see this particular extends keyword which is nothing but its inheritance and it is inheriting the common class so what is a common common is a base class for this particular employee table and for each and every table the base class is common so if it is a custom table then it is also the base class will be common also if it is a standard table then also the common is the base class and initially we already discussed about that we can override the methods so override of the method only possible in case of inheritance so in common methods in common sorry in common class there are multiple methods so whatever you have seen all the methods those are already present in the common class and we are overriding uh, in the custom table and in case of inheritance you already know that we can call the parent method or we can override the parent method also we can write our own code for this particular child table and this child table is the employee table so i hope you understood the concept of table method now in the next video we will discuss about some common standard methods so we will discuss about the init method also we will discuss about the validate delete validate feed validate field value validate right so this method we can discuss also we will discuss about the custom methods like find method exist method we will discuss about this so in the third option you already uh, we already discussed that to extend the the existing table methods functionality you can use the chain of command option also you can use the delegate also you can use one more thing that is event handler now i'll show you how how you can take the event handler but i will not discuss um, details about event handler in this video i'll create one more video specifically for the event handler and on that video i'll discuss about the event handler but in this video i'll show you how you can take the event handler so here in this screenshot you can see that there is a customer group table is here and if you click or right click a particular method you'll be able to see there is an option copy event handler and there is a pre event handler and post event handler if you click on the pre event handler then certain code will be copied and you can paste it uh, in the class section or you can cre create a new class event handler class on that event handler class you can paste and you can write your business logic also in the same way if you we'll click on the post event handler then particular code will be copied and in event handler class 
you can paste that particular code and you can write your business logic to keep the additional features which is not present in the insert uh, method okay so this way you can use the event handler and you can extend your functionality uh, based on that particular uh, methods table methods now uh, there is a slight common question so when you will face any interview interview uh, you will be asked few question for example what are the different types of table methods in dynamics 365 financial operation i already discussed about different types of table method which is present in d365 fno also they can ask the explain the purpose of each type of table method so i will told that in in method valid right validity these are the methods so in the next video or the subsequent video we will discuss about the purpose and uh, for each type of methods i will not be able to cover all the methods but we will discuss few methods and i will discuss about the purpose to know more details you can see the documentation for the microsoft doc website so there you will be able to see the purpose of each type of table methods also they can ask how do table method works also they can ask what are the arguments and return types for each type of table methods also they can ask how can table methods be used to extend the functionality for the d65 financial operation so i already discussed that using the chain of command delegates also you can use the event handler in the last point you can see there is one more question what are some best practices for using the table methods so in the subsequent video i will um, answer all the questions whatever present here so thanks for watching this video i hope you have understood the concept of table methods why table methods are used uh, how table method uh, extend the functionality and examples of table methods so thanks for watching this video take care bye bye see you in the next one